So what I got from this was two people presumably meeting at a restaurant or a bar after work. I guess two people who are at a bar right now. Uh, two people, probably in a relationship. Um, I mean I feel like it's two friends out on a night. And they were out for drinks and the one woman says I'm pregnant. Someone had to drop some unexpected news that they were pregnant to the other person. I did like it. Uh, I could tell from the suspense at the very end. I didn't know where it was going as I was reading it. I did like it, just um, the way it, it started out. I liked that since it's like supposed to be a dictionary definition, I like that it put it in the form of a story. Abstain really threw me off, because like abstaining from sex, we don't have sex. I thought it was interesting. I think combined with the title is interesting. I want to know more. Um, well, I thought it was interesting that the character who said that she was pregnant laughed afterwards. I mean, I like little vignettes, so I think it's I think it's interesting. Um, I'd be interested to see what it's a part of a little bit more. First thing that just comes to my mind is probably man and woman. Two girls, I guess. For the woman who's pregnant, <laughs> maybe a Janice, uh, and for the man, maybe Chris. A Diana, and uh, oh. I guess I can't really guess the genders, and therefore it's kind of like harder to name them. Um, <laughs> They're both like women, right? Maybe the person asking like John or something and the woman Michelle. Man's name Russell and woman's name First thing that comes to mind Alyssa <laughs> Because it's in first person. I'm gonna say one of them is named Kelly <laughs> And then I guess the second person I don't know, normal name, Mary. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe like a Bridget Jones's Diary kind of movie, like someone, someone from there. First things first, I'd animate it, because I think you can do a lot more with animation. I want to say this is, there's a little bit, because I kind of, I'm kind of feeling that uh, this would be interesting if it was a dynamic between like two women because like um, I don't know I feel like there's not enough there's not the same amount of discussion. Oh my God! I'd get like Don Cheadle. I'd get uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, Margot Robbie, uh, Meryl Streep, uh, Viola Davis. Um, hell, I want that guy from Black Panther. Oh, What's it? Chadwick Boseman. Um, Michael B. Jordan, uh, anybody. Nice. Anybody who's popular right now. Definitely some of the Stranger Things kids. <laughs> I didn't write when I read it, but I guess I could, if I was thinking, um, uh, like, um, from Criminal Minds, the woman who plays, like, Emily, I feel like she could play, uh, probably the, not the, the, the one who was, like, interested. I guess for the other one, like um, Aubrey Plaza, I feel like she could be good because she could be kind of like a little bit messy. That's kind of her style. Sasha Ronan. <laughs> um, and I think I'm gonna go with Jennifer Lawrence. For Russell, um, I don't know why the first person who comes to mind is Michael Fassbender. <laughs> I say, oh, Alyssa. Um, geez. How about first person who comes to mind is Saoirse Ronan. <laughs> you know, Sandra Bullock. Maybe um, can't think of the names. I don't know. Um, Drew Barrymore. She's mm -hmm. an actress. 
I don't know what she looks like. I think she's blonde. I don't think I would go for like a big Hollywood director maybe. Probably like an indie director just because it's a pretty, it seems like a really intimate kind of film. Um, the first thing I thought of when I said indie was like the director of The Big Sick. I don't know. I mean, my favorite director is Guillermo del Toro, but I don't think he would do well with this kind of a movie. Mm -hmm. Well, since I already have a all female in my head, I would kind of like a female director to be attached. Maybe um, Patty Jenkins, who directed Wonder Woman. I think she would take this one. To explain what all this is about mm -hmm. is. Um, we're doing our project on diversity in the art. This is actually an excerpt from the Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan. Um, and there are no race, gender, anything assigned to these characters. So we wanted to ask you these questions to see if your answers would gear more towards what the media likes to portray, or more like the true diversity that's within like everyday life. So. see if your answers would be geared more towards what the media portrays or more like the true diversity yeah, within that's life. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I thought and that's definitely like, the first thing that always comes to my mind are like white people. Yeah. So, like, I was yeah. like, oh no, if a scene, I can't, it's hard for me to be like, let me name three, like three options for women directors to do it because like I don't know enough, um, which is super depressing. Um, but with writers too, I don't know nearly enough. I don't I mean, actresses are everywhere, but I can't tell you like how many of them are like diverse in, in race and um, sexuality, stuff like that. It's not you don't really see enough of that. Well, right off the bat, I didn't assign any race to anybody, but because somebody was saying they're pregnant, I like it's a woman, yeah. so <laughs> and I guess I just automatically thought that the other character would be a guy, but since the guy doesn't really I guess have a relationship to the baby, it doesn't even have to be a guy, it could be anybody. But with uh, very vague excerpts like this, it's easy to implement any other kind of like race or person who identifies as anything other than male or female or straight or anything. So it gives a lot of fluidity to it, which could be really good, really fun.